Hey y'all, Eli with Alchemy Custom Weaponry here. Today we're going to talk about a topic that Nick wants me to talk about. If you don't know who Nick is, he's my boss. Sometimes he tells me uh, what he wants me to do videos on. And today is one that I'm going to be honest with you. I've recorded this now like three times because I think this is kind of a topic that people maybe should understand, but maybe you don't. So here it is. How often... Should you clean your 1911? I'm going to say every chance you got, okay? <laughs> it just makes sense. It just makes sense not to leave the gun dirty, okay? If it's a gun you're going to leave, uh, you know, uh, if it's a gun you're going to uh, depend your life on, why is that gun not dirty and in tip-top fight and shape at all times? Don't understand. Competition people, let me tell you, let me, let me talk to the competition folks here. Come on, come over here. I've had... Now, three LE comps, and every single, and for those that don't know, a, an LE comp is a Wilson Combat product that was built on a Colt back in the 80s, okay? It was a competition pistol. And every single one of those was absolutely disgusting. And I think that's more indicative of, you know, competition folks not cleaning their guns as it is, you know, just these three random competition pistols being absolutely dirty. So, competition folks. Clean your damn guns, okay? It's just clean them. It's not really that difficult. So with that, you know, out of the way, you know, specifically with the 1911, there's a lot of rumors that 1911s don't run well dirty or something like that because, you know, people are don't know what they're talking about. In all reality, it's not that the gun isn't wanting to run dirty. It's the fact that there's a lot of carbon buildup, okay? And on a tight-fitting custom 1911, that really, you know, you don't have a lot of tolerance to really deal with carbon buildup. Also, as people dirty the gun, their lubrication is cycled out of the gun. So you have to keep the gun lubricated, okay? Keep all in the gun. Uh, keep it running. I'm going to be honest with you. You know, a well-lubricated 1911, even filthy, and I've seen some that were absolutely disgusting, even filthy, a well-lubricated well 1911 will, will keep trucking just a a lot longer than you might expect. So uh, with that, all I have to tell you is keep your gun lubricated. This is um, the gun I'm carrying. I figure we'll talk about gun a little bit while we're here. This is the gun that I've been carrying a lot lately. Uh, this is my uh, Alchemy Classic Government. Uh, of course, I, the only change I really made was I did change the grips to some uh, wood caliber uh, Bastong Walnut Double Diamonds because I feel like it's very appropriate for the pistol. So this gun right here, I keep it well lubricated. Um, about every week, week and a half, maybe maybe even two weeks, um, I'll, I won't even really take the gun apart. I'll just pop it open like so. I'll drop some, some uh, lubrication down on the disconnector. I'll close it, put some in behind the hammer, kind of work it a couple of times, come over here, get the end of the barrel. Um, and then I'll actually even get in the barrel hood here too. So, you know, it's not like you even have to, and that's another thing too. A lot of folks think you have to absolutely drown the gun. I, I'm going to be honest, I used to be that kind of guy, okay? I used to absolutely drown the gun, but I've realized uh, that good quality lubrication uh, is really what's paramount more than just having a bunch of it. Now, let's talk a little bit about lubrication while I've got you. Listen, I'm going to be honest, I kind of thought this video wasn't going to go well. I was struggling with the first couple of takes. Uh, and usually I'm a one-take wonder, but this one I was just like, man, people should just know to clean their gun. But there's some more to it, right? So let's talk about, you know, lubricate your 1911 a little bit. Um, in the in Not in the sense of, hey, these are the lubrication points, which I just told you, but rather the type of lubrication. Now, listen, okay. Asking a man what kind of lubrication he uses in his 1911 is kind of like asking a man what he likes in a woman. And let's be honest, okay? We all kind of want the same goal there, but <laughs> some people have a lot of opinions on what they want in a woman, right? Uh, and so it's just like with, with all. But I'm here to tell you a little, you know, a little secret. You want a lighter all, okay? Now, when you get out of the custom 1911 world, okay... <laughs> things start to get a little a little dicey, okay? You can, you can start to get into greases, you can start to get into different, uh, you know, viscosities of oil. But with custom 1911, specifically like the uh, classic government here, you want a little bit of a thinner one, right? If you use a really thick lubrication, you'll notice that, especially when you take the slide off and you're, you know, doing lubrication on the rails, 
you'll notice that a lot of that's just getting pushed out the back of the of the gun or pushed out of the gun. It's not actually staying on the gun or, or where you actually want it. So a lighter lubrication is something I recommend for a, a custom 1911. Now I, I got a 1943 Remington Rand and let me tell you brother, I'm greasing them slide, them um, uh, slide rails and the frame rails there uh, because let me tell you, the generous tolerances, generous. Uh, not so though with the Alchemy Custom Weaponry Pistol. So a thinner lubrication is definitely something you want to go with. Um, this gun, I haven't shot it much since its last cleaning. I have shot it some. I, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to level with y'all. I'm not someone who thinks, okay, you know, 100 rounds on the gun. You know, let's just drop some lube in it and keep on going. But typically, if you go over, you know, you start to have a little bit of a heavier range day, 500 rounds, a def, you know, 1,000 rounds. And this is a gun you carry. I would definitely say, hey, take it apart and clean this some bitch, okay? Clean it. And then put it back in your holster. And, and really that has nothing to do with, you know, any fear I have of a 1911 not running. And has everything to do with the fact that if you carry a gun, you want that gun to be in top, uh, tip top fighting shape all the time. So just have it prepared at all times to use it. Uh, so yeah, with that, hey, listen, um, you know, you're going to have to keep lubricating your, your carry gun. Uh, the all will, will drip out of the gun as you carry it. Um, so, you know, every week, every two weeks, you're going to give it a, give it a good once over. Again, you don't need to drown it, but now <laughs> if you're out on the range, let's say you got a hundred or excuse me, a two day pistol course or, you know, something crazy with a really high round count, there may come a time where you don't have, you know, a chance to clean the gun. You may have to start, you know, drowning the gun a little bit in uh, lubrication, uh, but that's really in, in the only circumstance where you're going to really have to do that. But anyways, I hope this offers a little bit. If you are new to the 1911, if you're not, I'm sure this is all, you know, stuff you kind of knew. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate y'all uh, watching. Have a great 45 Friday. We'll talk soon.